All right, this is gonna be a really quick video. This is the Wills Amino Tier, T-Y-R. Um, I'm actually getting rid of this today, and I never got a chance to make a video on it. Um, I have done a lot of videos just kind of showing it off, but I never really spoke about it, and I just wanted to do so. So Wills Armino is a custom maker out of Texas. It's a one-man operation as far as I know, and he's continually improving his knives. Like now he does the... Uh, I don't know how to describe it. The uh, he has a lot more uh, different grind at the top now. It used to be just kind of plain, so that's that's newer. There is no internal milling on here. Um, the original clip it came with looked very similar, but it was a lot thicker, and it was just impossible, literally impossible, to get in and out of the pocket. It wasn't happening, so he sent me a new one that's a lot thinner. And originally it is on the bottom two screws and I moved it up so it's a little bit deeper in the pocket um, that's what it's gonna look like in the pocket kind of a lot sticking out there and it's even more so if you have it on the bottom too but he does have some uh, deep carry clips that you can get it with the deep carry clip uh, you cannot just get a deep carry clip and put it on this knife because the deep carry clips are a different style frame and they're specifically made for that specific clip. Um, the action on this is absolutely amazing action. I mean, it's pretty much a straight guillotine. Um, I did have a lot of lock stick when I first got it. It was really bad, actually, and I was thinking I was going to have to send it in. But I just put some um, graphite, just got a pencil, and um, that top area right there I just basically covered in pencil, and I haven't had a, I haven't had an issue since. Um, this knife is very, very comfortable in hand. Uh, it's a big knife. I love the thumb ramp style thing here. It's kind of like a big harpoon. Uh, I love the... Uh, his anno work on the screws and especially the clip is really, really amazing. The video doesn't do it justice. It's absolutely amazing. This is just an, an awesome, very well made knife. He's actually got a tier 80%, which is uh, like a Microtech UTX 85 is 85% the size of the Ultratech. So he's got a tier 80 that is this knife but just a little bit smaller and that that knife actually won best folder at a blade show so to win best folder at a blade show when there are so many knives there that that speaks volumes in my opinion um, I really really love this knife I had met this guy at blade show Texas and he was one of the few tables that I stopped and was just admiring his knives. And I was just like, dude, I love these knives, man. Everything about them. I, pref I prefer a bigger knife. Um, just absolutely awesome. If you're a fan of big knives, um, Zermino definitely makes a lot of awesome stuff. He's got a few different blades. Uh, not blades, but he's got a few different knives that he makes he's got a pretty awesome persian style blade i'll try to put pictures in here um everything he does is sick and um, he's been around for a decade or more i just have never heard of him or seen him um one thing i've noticed custom knife makers do they have the uh that's the detent ball hole so when you see the hole up up high like that it makes it to where there's not a whole lot of room to clear I mean it's like the same with a McNeese as soon as you get it about that far it's already over the ball and so I don't like how some knives they have a whole you know area that's just it's not like you know the whole middle area it's hard to explain but 
uh, when it's higher up like that, it makes it to where it's just, as soon as you unlock it, it's already ready to fall. I like that. A lot of the other custom makers, they will have, um, well, I was going to say, I thought this one was like a McNeese in the fact that the screws go in one side and they're not on the other, but this one is not like that. I, I uh, misspoke when I started to say that but um, just very very well made this thing is absolutely rock solid no hint of blade play at all I have heard a lot of people not a lot of people but a few people that have had this knife there is an area here it's like uh, a lot of wiggle room when it's closed but but this is one of his newer ones I guess and it's there is no blade play when closed at all. I mean, it's got a great detent on it. I mean, I really don't have really anything bad to say about this knife. It's pretty heavy. It's probably, if I were to guess, this thing's probably seven to eight ounces. Um, a AEBL still, which you don't see very often, but um, from what I understand, it's very similar and comparable to Nitro V. Uh, this thing is extremely thick for a blade, but he does a pretty good hollow on it. This is a hollow grind, and it's very, very sharp. This thing will slice through paper very easily, even being that it is extremely... I mean, this is the definition of overbuilt, if i ever seen it. And unlike uh, Medford, if Medford were to come out, which they do have plenty, so I shouldn't say come out with let's put this in perspective if you've got a full titanium monster of a knife from medford you're going to be paying 800 to 1200 bucks um but this this thing too um zermino for a handmade custom this thing is very inexpensive when you start getting into custom the custom world which I only have one. Well, I have two. This is my second custom knife. My first custom knife is a Brian Ty Integral. Very pricey. But this thing is cost me 425 For some people, they're like thinking that that's a lot of money. And it is. It's definitely a lot of money. But not when you consider what went into this. So, that's about all I got to say on the tire tier. I keep wanting to say tire. Somebody recently, I watched their video and they actually spoke with Zermino. Uh, it's tier is, it has something to do with Greek mythology. So, yep, I absolutely love this knife. And the only reason that I'm getting rid of it is a buddy of mine saw it in a picture I posted and really wanted it and he's making me a trade that I just can't refuse so um, getting something worth a hundred dollars more I'm actually getting a uh, heretic I forget what it's called dude a heretic OTF I'll show you a picture of it but uh getting one of those and trading this for that so um i do plan to get another zermino um i may even try out his uh, 80 percent so yep i will definitely be getting another zermino uh, i love supporting smaller companies um kind of feels to me like buying local i mean could you imagine being a knife maker making an awesome product and then having to compete with all of the uh, Medfords, Chavez, Microtech, you name it. So these, these small custom guys are really, uh, they really appreciate when somebody buys one of their knives. Where the bigger companies, they don't even, you know, there's no sort of personal interaction or anything like that. So I got this directly from Zermino. I'd met him at Blade Show, like I said, and I hit him up afterwards and I asked him if he had any of these that I wanted to buy one. And he said yes, he showed me a few options and I got one from him. 
and as soon as I got it I knew the clip wasn't gonna work so he sent me another one he actually made this one for me and even this one is still I'm not crazy about it I really wanted to get a uh, I, I prefer a, a bent style clip as opposed to a milled clip every now and then you'll get a milled clip that's just really nice in and out of the pocket but for the most part um, I prefer a clip like a McNeese um, something like that but he's actually sending me another clip which I will forward to the guy who's getting this knife but anyway I just wanted to talk about this knife and uh, before I let it go so hopefully one day I'll be able to show you another Zermino um, absolutely awesome dude he's been really cool the whole way throughout this he wanted to send me these clips just for free I mean he didn't even want to charge me and I I'm like dude I will at least pay for the shipping man so really awesome dude and uh, I like to support smaller guys when I can so anyway that is the tire tier I keep, I keep saying tire just a uh, quick size comparison for you here it is against the McB and here it is against the Areoli even the Arius I mean a lot of people are familiar with the Arius but um, it is still much bigger in the areas let's see if I can notice the blades it's about double the blade thickness that's the body thickness um, this this tier probably weighs three times what this areas does and the areas is known even though this is a giant knife uh, bearded bearded what is his name? Bearded Gear EDC, something like that. His favorite knife is the Arius. And he mentions the Arius. Whenever you pick it up, it's like there's some wizardry stuff happening. Because when you pick up a knife this big, full titanium, you expect it to be heavy. But this is not. This is not heavy at all. It's almost as light as this. And I'm not even joking, dude. Look at, look at the uh, milling inside of here. Look how deep those pockets are. Koenig does a great job, and I know this isn't a video on the area, so I'm just kind of rambling on. But to have a knife this big with no internal milling, you can imagine this thing is. Um, I wouldn't throw this on when I'm wearing some swim shorts or something. This thing was definitely a pocket hog, but you know. It's a good knife, I love it, I support Will Zermino, and I will be loving to support him in the future. So, there you have it folks, that is the overview of the tier. Hope you enjoyed. One more thing, I forgot to mention this, and it is pretty important. Uh, with this particular knife, typically with knives I prefer to reverse flick like so. And you can do it just fine, but because this thing is so heavy, it does, re and the detent is so strong, it is kind of hard to flick that thing open. So, I have never had a knife before. I mean, how many knives have you had with a uh, deployment hole like that? Like, for instance, just an example. Have a knife like this, how many times would you ever flick it like that? I mean, literally none. But this, this particular knife, it is much more satisfying opening it with your thumb. It's just like that's how it was meant to be done. It is absolutely, just, just something about when you open that with your thumb, it is just so perfect. It's even doing it now, I, I could just sit here and, and flick it like that all day. It's just, makes me happy. So, yep, Zermino Tear top tier.